Welcome to Palladium Technologies latest product, an innovative and integrated solution for the production yacht market, Simon Squared. Simon Squared was designed exclusively for the Apple iPad and is a fully integrated alarm and monitoring system. It also includes lighting control, audio visual entertainment control, and security cameras. Simon Squared works without a PC on board the yacht. Instead, it's supported by our Schneider PLC, controlling the interfaces to the sensors and yacht equipment. After the initial splash screen, Simon Squared shows the main engine screen. On every screen within Simon Squared, we've utilized this feature that we call a dock, containing these various icons to transcend language and impart what systems are currently being monitored. Currently, the engine screen is highlighted, and therefore we've got this white glow around the engine. The spotlight indicates lighting control, camera for security cameras, the lightning bolt for electrical systems, both AC and DC, a gas gauge to indicate tank volumes, a pool of water with drops coming down into it to indicate bilge levels, a compass for general navigation data, a strobe to indicate alarm conditions, a movie reel with notes to indicate both audio and visual entertainment possibilities, and finally the Simon Squared logo, which provides a portal to the Palladium Technologies website as well as underlying configuration controls for those who are authorized. Starting with the main engine screen, we monitor engine RPMs, coolant temperatures, oil pressure, fuel flow, and rudder angle. The possibilities here are endless as far as what these gauges could be assigned to. Many pages will have these series of dots. That indicates that there is more pages of information to be had. In this case, there's three more if you notice the highlighted dot and the two grayed out ones. If I click and swipe to the left, the page slides over. Notice the highlighted one is now in the middle. We've got a page to the left that is invisible right now and a page to the right that is invisible right now. On this middle page for the engines, we're redisplaying some engine data in a slightly different form, a little more digital in nature. Again, it's RPMs, oil pressure, coolant temperature, fuel consumption, and so on. The final engine page includes a trend chart, and trend charts can be included anywhere based on the yacht specifications. And it's basically the plotting of sensor values over time. So in this case, we're plotting coolant temperature and oil pressure. The red line indicates engine coolant temperature, port side. The green indicates the starboard engine coolant temperature. Yellow, port oil pressure. And aqua, starboard oil pressure. Under electrical data, we display an overview of all the generator data. Coolant temperature, oil pressure, average amperage, average voltage, frequency, whether the generator is online or offline, whether there's a potential fault condition. Like I mentioned before, these three dots indicate there's more information to be had. And we can slide over and we can get our battery voltages. Notice how the levels change. They'll also change color depending on where they are within the range. In this case, we're all the way to the top at 52 volts. We're over voltage for that battery. That's a critical condition. So we're displaying red. In this case, we're under volts at 11. We're displaying red for a low critical condition. If we were nominal, we'd be somewhere about 50% and the level indicator would be green. Notice here, we're in a cautionary over voltage situation. We're beyond 50%. We're not quite critical yet, but we might be heading that way. It's a good way to monitor what's going on. Finally, for electrical data, we also have a trend chart again. In this case, the red is the average amps for the port generator. The green is the average voltage for the port generator. 
the yellow being average amps for the starboard generator, and aqua being average voltage for the starboard generator. Select our gas gauge, and we'll get our tank levels. Fresh water, fuel, black and gray. Again, these are all highly customized per vessel. The tank levels include the actual volume, as well as the percent of volume between its minimum, of course zero always, and its maximum, in this case 3212. 2361 is 74% of 3212. For bilge levels, we include a series of digitals along a yacht profile to show us what the bilge indicators are. Notice we suddenly have a high bilge level here on the port side. I'll get a little more into that. That actually is an alarm condition, which is why the strobe is flashing. But I'll get into that later. We have some general navigation information under the compass, including apparent wind speed and angle, true wind speed and angle, the vessel heading in a compass format, as well as digital format, latitude, longitude, water depth, and water temperature. In the beginning, I mentioned lighting control. Simon Squared utilizes a system based upon low voltage LED controllers. So these are green controllers, so they're very economical and highly efficient. Individual lights on the vessel can be turned on and off by clicking on the light bulbs. And if the light bulbs are, or I should say the lighting circuit actually, is on a dimmer control, we can actually adjust the dimming level, the brightness intensity of a light, by clicking and dragging, moving the values up or down. And of course, the on-screen light either glows brighter or less bright, depending on the direction taken. In addition, buttons can be added to these various profiles to simulate moods or scenes. Uh, for instance, if you're watching a movie, you might want to dim all the direct lighting and just turn on the indirect lighting. What we've done here as an example is we have two scenes where all the lights are off or all the lights are on. Now, this is showing it on a complete level of a vessel, but obviously these buttons could be tuned per room. In the beginning, I also mentioned security cameras. As long as a camera can stream data over the Wi-Fi network, which the iPad uses extensively on the vessel, we can receive streamed data, especially from cameras. So in this case, this is a camera on an aft deck that's automatically panning left to right. Another scene is the engine room, where again we're panning or perhaps for the bow of the boat. And again, even internal cameras, for instance, for the bridge. Walking anywhere on board the yacht and picking up the Wi-Fi signal, someone with an iPad could view all the cameras. I also mentioned audiovisual control at the beginning. And here's Simon Squared's audiovisual control screen. Again, since the iPad's working wirelessly within the vessel, we can walk anywhere. We can choose our AV zone. Let's say we had walked from the owner's cabin into the salon and we wish to control some equipment in the salon. We simply tell the system via the Wi Fi connection. Okay, I'm in the salon now. I want to control the salon equipment. Again, all these screens are highly customized to the audiovisual equipment on board the vessel. We go to satellite radio. We can have preset stations, choose our stations, select volume control, and so on. The Simon Squared icon takes you back into the Simon Squared regular screens, and you can continue monitoring. 
Finally, there's our alarms. What vessel monitoring system would not produce alarms? Simon Squared takes the model of our parent product, Simon, in that we have four levels of alarms. There's low critical, low caution, high critical, and high caution. Cautionaries are, are an indication to the owner or crew that we are heading into a critical condition. Cautions always display in yellow. Criticals always display in red. The alarm screen is ordered by the most critical, most recent, down to the, uh, if you will, least cautionary, least recent alarm. You notice the starboard fuel flow alarm popped up there and then went away. The sensor went into an alarm situation and then got out of it. All the alarm indicators include the sensor name as well as the date and time they occurred. Using Palladium's Simon Anywhere product, these same alarms can be transmitted to the Palladium website, in which case those alarms could be activated so that the owner or a crew member could receive an SMS alert on their cell phone or simply an email saying an alarm occurred. Likewise, shipyards could use that same information to get daily reports from Palladium indicating what alarms occurred on the vessel in the last 24-hour period. This would allow shipyards to be very proactive in responding to potential equipment failures. I hope you've enjoyed this short overview of Simon Squared. This truly is a new totally integrated yacht monitoring and control system. It's built upon a, the very popular Apple iPad utilizing the industrial strength Schneider PLC along with Palladium's own innovations to produce an elegant solution for yacht alarm monitoring and control. Thank you very much.